today is an opportunity to try to try something. I want to uh, build one of the fastest Splunk deployments I've ever built. Uh, and basically the concept is, in a previous video I showed, I built a Windows application that I just put into key, some key values and it will create all the Splunk apps that I need to be able to build an environment. The environment I want to build is I want a six uh, six systems of Splunk. One will be a search head, one will be a license and deployment server, one will be a master node for controlling an indexer cluster. So I'll have a master node and three indexers, and then a search head that will search all three indexers. A, a will hook to a deployment server, and all of them will get their license from the license server. Right now, I have six uh, Splunk instances. They are vanilla as vanilla. I'll go show it. Um, you might just, just take, I mean, you could just take my word for it, but the principle is here I've got, if I load up my Splunk, I have an instance here. Nothing there. This one I set up a long time ago. It's got an expired license. I just want to show, let's go put a new license on this. Um, but there is no data in there. If I were to go there, there's nothing. Brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new. This is actually going to become my map deployment cert, my uh, master node. So just so I show that here, if I go to indexer clustering, it's not enabled. If I, oops, I wish I hadn't blown that away, but let's, whatever. If I go to settings and I go to, this is going to be an indexer. We got indexer clustering, not set up. There are, I have not done anything. These are vanilla setups of Splunk. And this is the general, uh, for the the uh, IPs, I've got an IP of 128, 130, 132, 133, 135, and 136. 128 will become my search head, 130 will be my license server and deployment server, 132, 33, and 35 will be the indexers, and 36 will be the master node. All right. Let's go to the tool that makes all this happen. I've got a little Splunk app creator. I'm going to say where I want to write. I want to write to my temp file, Splunk foo. If I bring up my directory, there I am. There's no app there. There's nothing there. Haven't built anything yet. I've got a timeout session for my user interface. I want it to be for two minutes, uh, two hours. So I'm going to leave it at 120 seconds. Licensing server. What's my licensing server? I want that to be 130, so I, I just type in 130 there. I've already saved myself some time. Deployment server is also 130. And if forwarding, I've got it checked. I'm good. I want no throttle indexers. 132, 133, 135. I've added those in. I could clear the list and put them in one by one by one, but I don't want to. But I can see 132, 133, 135. Good. All right. Indexer size settings. I've got these all set at one gig. That's an incredibly tiny uh, internal logs, but I just want to show that I can do that. And I'm going to set the whole thing at 10 to 40. Sweet. And then I'm going to come over to my cluster index. I'm going to have three replication, two search factor. Here's my SIM key for the cluster. I do not have index or discovery on at this moment. Uh, I'll get that going in a little while, but for now, we're just going to, we won't have index or discovery. And then here is the IP address of my cluster server. And so if I look, yep, that matches 136. All right, I got all my pieces in there. I'm ready to go. I'm just going to, basically all I had to do was just change these IP address here, IP address there, indexes. What do I want my sizes? And that's only if I choose to deploy the index. You don't have to deploy them. You can just, if you want to leave it with, with what Splunk has, don't waste, your, don't bother. But I just, I want to have it there. And then here's my cluster index, 136. So I come to app info, I hit create apps, boom, successfully created a new app. If I go look in my folder, it was empty, now I have Splunk Foo, and a whole bunch of directories. I'm going to bring up the help document, it's going to tell me where, where I need to put different things, so the apps be installed on the indexer, apps be installed on the search head, etc., all the way down, and install instructions. So I have WinSCP set up here. We're going to go over to 128. What is 128? If I look at my key, 128 is my search head. So what do I want on my search head? To be installed on the search head, I need a forwarder outputs. I want my help document over here too. Okay, 
forwarder outputs, that's going to tell me where to forward. So that's going to tell me to forward to my indexers. I want a deployment client. That's going to point to my license server deployment server. I want a cluster search head. So I will go with that. Why? Because it's a cluster, it's search head, but it's got to be able to know all this, the uh, systems it's searching. So I need that piece there. My GUI settings, that's going to turn on HTTPS, SSL, uh, make sure that I get the 120 seconds on the timeout. It's a client for the license server. And let's put the non-index or index settings in there. Sweet. Drag those over. It's ready to go. Now at 130. 130 is my license server, deployment server. So if I look at that, what goes on it? It just wants the license server and the GUI settings. All right. So GUI, so it'll turn on SSL. And license server says, hey, I'm in charge. I got the licenses. Good to go. 132, that's an indexer. What does it want? Indexers receive index settings. I'm going to leave those off for now. Uh, typically, you want to deploy that with master node. It's nice to have, but I wouldn't install it straight over. License client, cluster client, non-GUI. So non-GUI means, hey, I don't want you to have, I want Splunk D to be turned off the web interface. You do not need people accessing the web. Sounds good. Cluster client. What was the last piece? It's the li license client. So I have the cluster client. I need my license client so it will call out and get to the license server. All right, let's do that again. License, cluster, cluster, client, and non-GUI settings. Grab that. We'll wait for a second. Now we'll move to the other one, 133. It's also an indexer, so I move that over. 135, it's also, so it gets the same files. And then 136, that's my cluster master. What's it, what files does it take? Go look at my help. Cluster master needs cluster master, GUI, and license client. So cluster master, license client, and GUI. Copy those over. Okay, first thing we need to do is then we follow the instructions as to how it should be run. So I come over here, oops, the instructions on my help. It says you want to start up your license server and add a license to it. All right, so let's jump over to my license server, which is... 128 machine, 130, we called it Splunk. All right, so if I come over to SSH, there's my Splunk. If I look in my directory, there's my license server and my GUI settings that I SCP'd over. If I CP minus R, star, star, oh, Splunk, Etsy, apps. I'm going to hit restart set that thing to restart. Next, I want to grab my master node and get it going, but I'm not going to start it up. I'm just going to copy the files over while that thing is running. So there's this one right here. If I look, there, CP minus R, star, ops, Splunk, and Etsy, apps. Okay, it's ready to go. Let's just now move along, LS. CP minus R, op, Splunk, star, op, Splunk, Etsy, apps. Next one, CP minus R, star, op, Splunk, Etsy, apps. Next one, CP minus R, star, op, Splunk. Let's see, apps. Okay, last one, YouTube one. Okay, if I have this right, should have Splunk 2 up and running. Splunk 1 up and running. All right, it says it's good to go. So if I jump over here to my license group, 
it's been disconnected. And it won't be able to find that because it's no longer HTTP. It's HTTPS. Knock that out. And away we go. It's going to tell me, it's giving me this little thing because I set it up, but I don't actually have a, a license. I don't know a way. I can't give you a license here. So I got to go add my license in. Desktop. Licensing. It'll want to restart. This is the most annoying part of the whole thing. And I don't know why it gets stuck in a loop like that. So I'm going to go that licensing settings, server controls, restart. Now, once this restarts, everything else will just go smooth. But I had to get the license server. There's no clean way of getting the actual license on there. You have to physically install a license. You can set it up with all the config files, which is what I'm doing, but it will it needs a license before it can actually work, or you get those little errors. And that's kind of the telltale sign is this whole left side doesn't install doesn't show up. And I want to make sure that my license server is done first because then every other piece is going to look and say, do you have the proper license to allow master nodes and all that sort of stuff? So it's restarted. It's successful. If I log in, come on. And if I go settings, licensing, I'm good. All right. So we're, we're, we've got that taken care of, and now all I need to do is go to the master node. That's this one here. We restart it. This one takes a little bit. But once the master node is set up, then everything else will work right off of it. You got to have it because the indexers need to find the master node. The search head would have been fine except we use master node. We use the, the clustering to get all of the indexes that I'm going to search. And so again, it relies on the master node to fit, find where that's at. So this thing must be up and happy, but don't start it up before the license because if you're using the free license, it'll tell you, hey, that free license isn't valid to be able to use a cluster master. And so you gotta have you gotta have a valid license or the Splunk 30-day free license that you download. That's it's valid for 30 days. You can use that anyway. All right, I'm up. We can see that by the fact that now I'm gonna have to do 192.168.0.136. It's now using HTTPS. It was not before. And If I come in here and I go settings, index clustering, I don't have that where would you like to configure? I don't have my indexes, but that's indexers, but that's okay. We'll get there. Now the rest just start to fall in. We're going to go grab YouTube 1, 2, and 3. This is ready to go. Splunk, bin, splunk, restart. So I've done one. Two and Okay, now if I have this right, should have pushed that out. 130 is going to be fine. 132, we're going to hit a refresh. Can't be reached. But it's not going to be reached by doing HTTPS. That can't be reached either 
because we chose to follow best practices, which is to turn off the user interface. So there is no GUI to 132. It no longer has web access, which is best practice. If you don't want that, put the, don't put the non, that, uh, what was the app I called? The non-GUI settings. But the non-GUI settings says, hey, turn off the GUI. It'll give you a little bit extra performance on your indexer, plus it's security issues and things like that. Your indexer shouldn't just be accessed by anyone. You want to let it be controlled by the, math, the indexer clustering. So anyway, these are now all not available. And if I go to the clustering, oh, look. Look what just popped up. One, two, and three. They're all up. They're going. Search factor met. Replication factor met. Boom. I'm done. No, I'm not, because I still have to get my search head added. All right, well, what is that going to take? I'm going to come over here. I'm going to op, splunk, bin, splunk, restart. Oh, while I'm at it, we will... I don't know. It takes a little bit for this thing to join. Uh, I want to show the deployment server, but I don't want you sticking around the whole time while I, while I make it happen. So I'm going to jump over to Splunk 2. Splunk 1, sorry. That's my deployment server. In order for the deployment piece to happen, you've got to have an app inside the deployment app. So I'm going to copy CD GUI CP minus R GUI to op Splunk. Etsy deployment apps. Until you have an app here, you can't see the features of the deployment server. So when you go in deployment, it will just say it needs to be configured. Now that I have at least one app in that folder, I'll be able to see the deployment piece. What I mean by that is I want to come over here, settings, folder management, and I have an app. It's going to take a minute. It usually takes five to ten minutes for this thing to actually join. I may not have you around at that time. You'll just have to take my word. It will HTTPS. i got to flip to that. Now I can connect. All right. And... I should have a valid license. It's hooked over to that server. My licensing is good. If I come to settings and I go to distributed search, I don't know if it's going to show it here. It does. There they are, 132, 133, 135. They're all hooked, but I can actually see it in action by just going and writing a query. See, I haven't even been here. Metadata x equals internal type equals host. I should see four systems, three systems, sorry. Splunk YouTube, YouTube 2, and YouTube 3. And if I go to settings, forwarding, I should be able to see that I am forwarding round robin to 132, 133, and 135. So just like I said, I don't know the exact time that I started this video, but I now have a search head, a licensed deployment server, a master node that is controlling three indexers. The deployment server should be working. I don't, I'll jump over there. Maybe it'll be there. Maybe it won't. If I waited, but I don't want you to sit around for my video to see it. It'll eventually hook. You just got to call out. But the search head's good. It's searching these indexes. It's forwarding stuff. And that took nearly no time. That would have taken a much longer time to configure if I was doing it manually and going into all the config files. Anyway, I hope this uh, excites you and you see use in this tool. Feel free to look in the link below. I'll show you. It's a free tool. You don't need to pay for it. Uh, I even give the source code. You can compile it in Visual Studio and make your own changes to it or just use it as it currently stands. doesn't matter to me. Anyway, I hope this helps you move you from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.